so how's it going ladies and gentlemen we're recapping some shit today and by recapping i mean we are going to be watching a recap of john tron's clock tower that neither of these two have seen no. so uh <clears throat> it's a little bit of a catch-up game so me i've seen this before i'm still gonna laugh because it's fucking john tron and also clock tower dude i mean it, the yeah. original the original original not the playstation <laughs> the the super nintendo one okay. and i gotta be honest it it has a lot of stuff in it that survival horror games sort of jackbooted and made their own there has to be a first there have to be innovators you yes know? and they're often the fir first ones through the gate are often the ones who get bloodied mm. and they never and people look back on them with derision but nowadays because of the modern wonder of the internet we can look back on stuff and be like hey that's where it started God, I'm glad I'd that... I always the... heard Alone in the Dark was one of the first ones as well. Mm. Yeah, Alone in the Dark uh, did did a lot of good stuff. But let's see, actually, when did Alone in the Dark come out? Let's let's do a little bit of... Did you do researching? Reading. Weird little short story about Clock Tower for me is I remember one of my cousins or somebody talking to me about Clock Tower when I was really little. And they were like, oh, that game's so cool and stuff, and they were telling me about it and... I don't know if all the stuff they were telling me was true or not, because you know how kids tend to like exaggerate stuff and yes. make up random shit. But uh, they were talking about that game a long time ago, and then when I saw Clock Tower three on PlayStation, yeah. 2, so I the Clock Tower came out in 1995 on the SNES, and the uh, let's see, Alone in the Dark, 1992. Okay, so yeah. Did come out did come out beforehand. So the clock tower probably took a couple of cues from that, possibly. Maybe. Where did it be too close the scissor to man. Really, uh, see it the scissor man? The scissor man well, the scissor man started out originally as just a man who killed you with, with garden shears. Right. But eventually because Japan, it warped into something <laughs> what? The Japanese have a way of just transforming shit around to where it's odd. And in some cases, to some people, hilarious. But to other I people, I think it's the Scissor Man hilarious. is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. To some people, it's hilarious, but to other people, it's pretty scary. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> I well, did... I mean, imagine a dude coming at you with big ass fucking I, scissors like that. I know. I get the fact. That <laughs> I don't know why I find it funny, yeah. but for some reason, well, the Scissor Man's fucking hilarious. Clock Tower, to me. the original Clock Tower, the 1995 video game, was inspired by Dario Argento's. Philomena, uh, phenomena, which deals with paranoia, uncertainty, not knowing who to trust, all this and all that. And I, I honestly just think that the, uh, I think that the that clock tower, you know, it it has a lot to offer, but there's some parts that are actually pretty damn funny. I mean, there's some funny shit, especially in the PlayStation One version. Oh yeah, but, the PlayStation One uh, version. There's some campy shit that they play up a lot. Whereas in this, it's a lot of it is strictly horror, and I don't mind it because no, hey, I'm down with it. I I like retro games, so I'm interested to see how this goes down. I know very little about the Super Nintendo version. I like retro games and horror games, so I'm super interested. As yeah. Well. All right. So <clears throat> we got the video queued up here. Let's uh, get it up here and let's see what old Johnny Boy's got to say about Clock Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I like the alternate intro for that. Yeah. Saw some zombies ate my neighbors there at the end. Yep. It's October. Come on, lay it on me. I'm ready. Get out the Draculas. The Frankensteins. The skeletons with the gun in their hands. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Maybe scratch that last one. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. Don't forget about the scissor man. <sighs> Not the scissor man. <laughs> well, I didn't realize you were going to go ape shit. Scissor man! Please stop. 
Clock Tower. It's a series best known for the game released on the PlayStation 1, but it actually had its start in the SNES, which most people don't know because it was never released outside of Japan. I've always wanted to try it out, seeing as it is one of the earliest entries into the survival horror genre. Some would say this game pioneered survival horror, but can an SNES game elicit the same kind of terror we associate with such titles as Resident Evil and Silent Hill? Somehow, I doubt it. Clock towel? <laughs> That's not very scary. <laughs> oh god! Raised in the granite orphanage, Jennifer and her friend Friend Z? Ooh, typos already getting scary. Friends were wanted as adopted daughters. Yes, I'd like to adopt the two of them like puppies from a kennel. After all, anything can be bought and sold for the right oil. It happened in September. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the opportunity if I'm saying so myself. I'm gonna be the scary ones just won over. Oh, that's the one! From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you've asked. Yeah, well, maybe it'd be the last time if you just fucking told me. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? Oh, majestic. Yeah, you know, all that's missing, I think, is just a big old sign saying definitely not haunted. I, I think that'll be an amazing touch. In yeah. Clock Tower, you play as Jennifer Simpson, an orphan girl who has just been adopted by a Mr. Barrows. The story picks up as you've just been brought to his secluded and creepy mansion in the woods. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. You think you can maybe give me an ETA on that? This game sure is off to a slow start. Oh no, that can't be good. A musical change like that can only mean one thing. I gotta get out of here. I ain't gonna be the first to die, I'll tell you that much right now. Ah, locked doors, huh? Well, I don't know where to go. Oh, wonderful. The lights went out. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess I'll just try to go up these stairs. Even though it's going to take my entire goddamn life. Okay, yeah. It's nothing this up. looks very tedious to play. Oh, yeah. look at that. The PS1 one on. is... Just yeah, it's almost like we got to try to do anything. I have to say, for this era of gaming, there really was nothing with this kind of intense atmosphere. Most horror competitors at the time were just platformers or action games that had spooky themes. Nothing quite got to this level. Yeah, what was that? Well, I better hurry and see who just made that blood-curdling scream. Oh no, I was too late. Maybe I should have ran. The game works on a cursor system. It's basically like a point-and-click adventure. I eventually found out that if you double-tap, she starts to run, which is nice, because otherwise I'd be walking everywhere like yeah. that. Yeah. As you walk around the mansion, crazy events can happen at random, which keeps the tension high. Whoa! Okay! Guess I'm glad I was walking this time. Honestly, the lack of a direct input on your character helps add to the feeling of helplessness. It's pretty cool. Oh, yes. There's nothing like a portrait of a skull with no eyes to really bring a home together. Yes, this is actually a uh, original Vincent Van Gogh. People don't come over anymore. <laughs> the game also brings itself to life by showing really detailed close-ups of the items you find. Like, look at this broken picture of these two kids. The artwork is fantastic. So much terror is portrayed through this angle and lighting, especially for 16-bit graphics. It's genuinely creepy. Well, yeah. just because I'm being haunted doesn't mean I can't be beautiful. I'm being strangled by the man <laughs> in the room. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> really? At least he had the decency to be delicate. You know what I'm saying? How did he know those were man hands? Too busy to, to float a old man across the street. I don't know. That ain't right. Sorry, I, I don't think I can get over this yet. He spins her around and gently pushes her after he's done strangling her. And she just daintily falls. It's a work. What even? <laughs> well, fine. If you're not going to be nice, I'll just have myself a refreshing talk with the bird. Oh, God. No. Hey, please, stop. Are you talking to me? Are you saying something? I kiss you. I kiss you. I kill you. I'm near you. I'll kill you. I'm not now, Chuck. I'm trying to figure this out. Ah, <laughs> oh, you messed me up. Dead from lack of addiction. I'm getting a bit sick of these dead ends. I just want the plot to progress already.
Shut up, homie. <laughs> Run. Run, bitch. You know, I'm having second thoughts about this adoption. I think I'll give you guys a call. <laughs> oh my god, I am out of here! But then again, that did look like a bit like Angus Young. But then again, his signature is really <laughs> dead! But, you know, I'm a huge ACDC fan, so I think I'm gonna check one more time just to make sure it wasn't him. What is this person? Is this actually the main enemy of the game? After all this time, all this atmosphere, and our nemesis turns out to be Jay Leno on a schoolboy's body with a serious case of only prune face? And what's he using as a weapon exactly? That, that, that's hedge clippers. We, we're not getting around this. Jason had a machete. Freddy had a creepy claw hand. Scissor man? He's got scissors. That's it, that's the end, that's where it ends. Edward Scissor Hands, this is Edward Scissor Man. Uh, uh, what do I do? Uh, I, I better grab that shovel. No, wait, get in the car and get out of here. No, even better, I'll hide up here. <laughs> Ain't no way his stubby legs are climbing up this ladder. <laughs> that's right, see you later, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> I did not factor in the warp ability. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. This time, going straight for the car. No messing around. The upstairs? Okay, bad idea. I can see that now. Car, made of steel. Let's go. But the others... <laughs> Fuck it. As silly as he is, after Scissorman hits the scene, this game becomes ten times as scary. Every room becomes a trap. Every object becomes a game of deadly trial and error. He can appear literally anywhere at any time, so you better be careful because game over is back to the beginning like it is with these old games. That's almost scarier than the monsters. Other random things can happen too. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Now I gotta play the rest of the game as pig pun, pig pen for the, for the peanuts! Picked up some ham. This'll kill him. It's a swimming pool. Actually, that's a window. Ah, hole in the floor. We meet again. I guess I'll just put this simple wood plank over the top of it. Just a simple plank of wood. Who are you to judge? With everything this game does right, it still suffers from a lot of hiccups that old point-and-click adventures do. For yeah. instance, like when you think you figured out the solution to a puzzle, but the game has decided that that is not the way the puzzle is going to be solved. Which, of course, leads to you having to backtrack and put a piece of ham in your pocket or something. Just some obscure, tiny object that you pay no mind to. All the way on the other side of the map is the key to progressing. Wouldn't it be mm. funny if someone were, like, hiding behind the drapes like it was a horror movie or something? <laughs> All right! Really? Hey, what's up, homie? What, what are you, fucking seven? Actually, I think you are, actually you are seven, aren't you? All right, checks out. Mentally, probably. Okay, well, Scissor man, so dude. He agrees with me. Drinks. Yeah, I know. It's worse than that nightmare-inducing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> What's that in Dark Souls 3? <laughs> <laughs> so can I start therapy now, or should I wait for the nightmares to set in? You couldn't even keep Eventually, a straight face when you did that. Eventually, you get to the top of the clock tower no. find out that Dan Scissorman, yeah, yes, by the way, his name actually is Dan, really hates the sound of tower bells uh, for some reason. Listen, even if you don't like the sound of bells, that was just a very poor route to take. Yeah. So this lady backs up a clip because some birds are bothering her. Yeah. That's the story, folks. Remember that powerful scene from Star Wars where Emperor Palpatine backed off into the nebulous void because he was annoyed with some birds? I still cry. Listen, next time, you're getting adopted. I'm dead inside forever now. <laughs> Man, I mean, that was so enveloping. I almost believed it was real, but... It's all in the spirit of the holiday. I mean, it's good to sit back and remember that scissors don't actually exist. Oh, oh wait a second. Shit. What's this? But that's impossible. If scissors don't exist, how did someone clip out this article? I think the John Tron's out there now. <laughs> oh, crap! Oh, crap! <laughs> Oh, oh no, that's shit. all I had! Come on, John, think, think, think! I got it! Ham! The harbinger of gout! And a scissor is worth it. <laughs> the harbinger of gout. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're out to lunch. <laughs> 
second. Why do I have a gun holster? I don't have a gun. <laughs> People that haven't come over in several years. That was the last man, and he's dead now. Wow. Happy month of Halloween, folks, and thanks for watching the new JonTron. If you want to help support the show, you know the drill. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com using my link, audible.com slash JonTron. And this month, I'm going to recommend to you, aptly so, The Shining Narrator by Campbell Scott. And like I said, I got a second mouth to feed. This guy over here is basically skin and bones. Or maybe he's just bones. <laughs> Halloween! Let me show you the true terror of Halloween. This guy at the store was labeled as pumpkin with face. I don't know about you, but I think there's a little bit more going on here than pumpkin with face. <laughs> Goosebumps. Wow. Hell yeah. Boost Gumps. Boost Gumps. I'm yeah. down with it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, there was this episode, Talk Clower. Oh, yeah. I'm very glad that John Tron agrees with me. On the Scissor Man thing, it's just hilarious. I don't know why. Well, he pointed out all the reasons. He's dressed like Angus Young. He's just this he looks zombie. Like, he looks like Jay Leno with, uh, you know, morphed with a California raisin. He's very I mean, small. Yeah, he's little. It's like, like, it's like the Leprechaun movies, <laughs> yeah. It's like as, as scary as it would be to, be, to uh, have a Leprechaun, like, murdering well, you. It's, it's still, still funny. It's still absurd. Yeah, yeah. Li- yeah it, that's, that's the one thing about leprechaun that the first one actually i enjoy a lot i enjoy the first leprechaun a lot because of just how ridiculous it is Uh, like it's campy but at the same time it tries to take itself serious in certain lights but then i think the movie realizes oh crap the main antagonist is a friggin leprechaun yes and who has catchphrases and does funny ass shit like they knew it. i mean it's a funny movie. yeah warwick davis i mean when he took that role he did not expect it to be as popular as it was. Yeah. And now he's seen as one of like the camp horror icons. Mm-hmm. He's up there with the critters. He's up there with uh, with just a bunch of the... Leprechaun in the hood, dude. Oh, God. Amazing. That is a funny-ass movie. You know something I just realized? He never showed us what happens if the Scissor Man actually catches you. Oh. Well, actually, there are several... Well, actually, it just fades to black... Or, he cuts you, and then it fades to black. Okay, and so it's, it's a not dead like end. super gory or anything? No, no, no. I wish it were. So whenever someone told me about the PlayStation version, like they were saying it was actually kind of gory, like he'd cut your legs and arms off and shit. Yeah, the blood, there was blood and stuff, but keep in mind, that's PlayStation where, yeah. early day PlayStation where rules were, n- rules did not apply. Yeah. Whereas this was the SNES, a.k.a. the Super Famicom. Yeah. Mm. So Family computer. ain't no way in hell yeah. they're going to be doing that like on certain games like but that. But also, <clears throat> with that game for the PlayStation, I don't know about the Super Nintendo, but to get to that, to get stuff to happen, <clears throat> you think JRPG grinding is a lot. I yeah, mean, you have tedious. to just... Super tedious. Oh my God. How, I, it's not my cup of tea. And I think it's probably a cup of tea that few people want to have to drink. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. It's not the most pleasurable experience. No. That is my opinion, but a lot of people agree with me. No, I so. I agree with you. I agree <clears throat> with you wholeheartedly, man. I mean, truth be told, the original... I, I like... Okay. The original Clock Towers, I don't like playing them. I like watching synopsis-based playthroughs of them, mm-hmm. where the lore is centric and you see pretty much from beginning to end how things how things go without any of the filler or fluff in between yeah. that's what i go for <clears throat> and when you cut all that crap out which they were actually talking about making a clock tower movie but they were not going to use the scissor man they were actually going to use actually something else uh, i mean as... what why would they not use the scissor man well, have you seen clock tower 3 <laughs> Like, do you guys know what happens in Clock Tower 3 at all? No. Okay, so Clock Tower 3, it's not the Scissor Man. Um, you actually go through different chapters, and there's a different serial killer type character oh. after you in each ca- chapter that you end up fighting at the end and killing with your weird magical light bow powers. So you can actually fight. 
Yeah, yeah that's point. not. Like you, you have to run away and hide from them until the end whenever you unlock the secret that allows you to basically kill them. Like, mm-hmm. they're, they're all, I think, like, past dead serial killers or something like that. Oh, that's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, and so you're going through, like, different areas in time, and you're trying to figure out what happened and why someone was murdered there, and you're getting chased around by, I guess, like, the ghost of the killer. And then what, at the end of each chapter, after you figured it out, you can actually fight back against it and take it out. That sounds pretty dope. Yeah, it's in like, my opinion. Like from what I've played of it, it's kind of cool. The only thing I didn't like about it is it has this panic meter. And uh, if you're hiding from the killer in a room for too long and it decides to just RNG stay around and fuck you over, your character will actually panic and burst out from their hiding place and just run oh, uncontrollably. Fuck. And if you hit anything, like she's like flinging her arms and shit. If you hit anything, she falls over and shit. Mm. So it gets you killed sometimes. Piss you off. Yeah, they, they've been I can't remember about... what that first killer is, but I remember the second killer is like some dude that looks like he's in some kind of World War II like hazmat suit with a fucking yeah. sprayer that <clears> he <throat> just sprays acid on you with. Damn. <laughs> so, that would suck. Because I remember that sticking in my mind. I was like, that's pretty fucking Actually, dope. Chad, it would spray. Yeah, that would spray. <laughs> yeah. Totally spray. The yeah, only reason spray. I even knew about Clock Tower at all was collecting PS1 games and finding out one and two are pretty valuable pretty rare games oh yeah oh yeah um for ps1 so <laughs> two i know jack shit about like i have no idea what's up with two yeah i don't know much about it either once i saw scissor man to be quite honest i laughed my ass off and then i just kind of threw That's it to the, the way yeah the i business. wasn't really interested in it <laughs> fair yeah. enough no it's fair enough i mean i i mean yeah, three i actually really want to play on a spoop stober stream eventually let's and do actually that try shit, to bro. beat it yeah and also also the Fatal Frame games, which, you know, you're a big expert in. Mm. and Chad, I don't know shit about, really. You know, them. You should try no. to play through the first one since I got stuck halfway through it Yeah, last October. Like, and you should see if you could do it this October. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I have all three of them, so. Actually, we mean to talk to you about or all three of the originals in a, anyway, the Borderlands, original in a Borderlands. There's actually like one four or five or six now. Yeah, that would be cool. On, on PC, which we can get a <clears throat> controller hooked up. I've you. got it on 360. I've never played it. Oh, it's it's a good game. It's yeah. really good. I've heard nothing it's but hilarious. good shit about it. Yeah, and actually, really I played it for like ten minutes and didn't. Something happened. I couldn't keep playing it, and then I just forgot about it. Well, we <clears> well, <throat> I'd like to, for all of us to do a playthrough of that, and uh, if we like it, we can do Borderlands too. I mean, yeah. I'd like. I mean, I'd like to have all of us do uh, you know you know record gameplay of it and all that, mm-hmm. and I can edit it, edit the fun parts together and all that, like us having fun. But you could know. you imagine that, folks? Us have fun? No, no. God, all right. Can't so. remember his name. What's the name of the first boss from Borderlands One? The first boss from Borderlands One. The boss. The uh, boss. He David is. Boss. Uh, <laughs> damn it. His name Nine Toes. Is, damn it, Nine Toes. Yeah, his name is Nine Toes, and if it tells you anything about the comedy that's present in Borderlands, like it introduces the bosses when they come out, you know, and it yeah. like freezes, you know, and he yells something at you, it freezes on a picture of him, like he's about to attack you, and it's like Nine Toes, and then in parentheses, and it's like also he has three balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the comedy of it. Yeah, also, it's, he, it's, it's like sounds like Conker's Bad Fur Day. It sort of is. Ever. It sort to of is extent, with, yeah. with its comedy. It's absurd. Like, yeah, that, that's what someone game. told me that like maybe, maybe like all right, I want to play that. Yeah, Conker's Bad Fur Day is a first good one. game for me that just really had me laughing my ass <laughs> off at a game. I remember I've when still you never were like, played it. I've seen the you great got drunk and you had to piss on the little devils. Yeah. I found that shit absolutely hilarious. The I mean, one dude had a little wiener. That was the whole thing about him. Yeah. He was like a jacked dude, and he was like, oh, but look. <laughs> that's funny as shit. Of course, you can't forget the, I am the great and mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. Yep. A huge supply of tish come from my chocolate starfish. <laughs> How about some scat, you little twats? I love that friggin' song. Come on, Nick. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. nah. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't played the game, and I've still heard that song. I've seen that part. That's like the Dude, only thing I know about multiplayer, it. Multiplayer. The, uh, like, Easy. shooter mode you could go into where it was the 
the squirrels versus the uh, teddy bears. Yeah. That shit was fun. Oh, my God. Yeah, it, well, it was rare. I mean, rare. I mean, they made GoldenEye, dude. All they had to do was put that shooting mechanic in I mean, the controls there. were kind of weird. Well, of course. It's a, sing- it's a single stick. Yeah, but... It's a single stick for a It for was a fun. That was the first game that I had capture the flag in and would just, like, camp and snot. God. Yeah. You were one of those dudes. Yeah, way back then. No, 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 no. I'm just... Hell, dude, I was a sniper. I was a sniper. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Dude... I sniped so much. I had like I told the video earlier. I had a KDR of over three, and I had a and I had sixty percent accuracy. Holy shit! I like, dude. I was a murder machine. I I you couldn't stop me. I mean, I was good when I had the regular sniper rifle, but when I got the Barrett fifty, bud, you couldn't stop me. You couldn't like. There was nothing they could do either. I mean, I had my I had my setup perfect. And very few times did I actually get outplayed. I mean, there were some good snipers I played against. And, like, most of the time it would be 50-50 even between us. I can only count, like, five, maybe six times I was, like, properly outmatched by their sniper. And, honestly, man, I, I just enjoyed the hell out of it. I, it was a good I'll game. Never, Modern oh, yeah. Warfare 1 was, like... Yeah, Modern Warfare Holy 1 shit. and 2 were really good. Uh, and two, I'm glad that they upgraded and did peer to peer instead of uh, instead of uh, oh no, they had servers instead of peer to peer. So that way, when when the host quit the game, the game didn't end. Mm. That was one of the big complaints for Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare Two, they fixed that. I was happy about that. All right, good times, very good times. Some of the some would say the best of times. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this. This was. John Tron Clock Tower. Yeah, very well done. Very well done. Fuck the scissor man. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you all are interested in seeing the original video, John Tron has it right here down below. In It's it's right down here below in the description. He's got all sorts of videos that we still haven't, like, we still haven't seen. There's others that we'll definitely have to do a recap on. I wonder if we can do another recap of the Flex Tape ones. Flex Tapes 1 and 2. Oh, oh my god! I don't know if the fans will let us get away with doing it a third time or not. Well, <laughs> actually, I'm thinking about deleting the second one because of a uh, a certain individual. Oh. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably just private that video and just and just mate. We'll do another one because why the hell not? It's John Tron. It's fucking funny. Yeah. He's probably my favorite of the videos we watched. To be quite honest, yeah, he's, he's funny good. As shit. He's good. So, anyway, that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.